All right, folks, here I go. Uh, as you can see, this is Jay Bradley. Now, what I'm about to expose of Jay Bradley is uh, Romans 8 and 9. Everybody, Jay Bradley is not the only one. I hear a lot of them out there. Probably about 99.9% .9 of y'all out there believe that Romans 8 and 9 is talking about when it says, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. A lot of you out there think this is talking about if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you're none of his. This is not what this is saying. This is not what it's saying. What it's saying is if you if you have the Holy Ghost and you don't let it lead you and guide you, then you're none of his. That's what it's talking about. It's not talking about if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you're none of his. A lot of you out there are teaching this, that if any man not the Spirit of Christ, he none of his. That's not what this is talking about. It's talking about those that do have the uh, Holy Ghost, but it's not letting them lead them and guide them. So I want you to hear Jay Bradley. That it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. So we're going to have a body that's fashioned like his glorious body. So why not have a body that's fashioned like unto his glorious body? Why not receive that benefit of the Son of God? All you got to do is just stop your unbelief in believing him and live according to the faith of the Son of God. That's all it takes. So I must say, repent. I pray that God will help you to be strong. Pray that God help me to be strong and we would carry this life. We would carry this faith out into the end. Get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and call on God to baptize you with his Holy Spirit. For any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. All right, folks, you heard him. He said, if any man... Uh, have not the spirit of Christ. He is none of his. Now he's quoting from out of Romans eight and nine. And that's not talking about that. If you don't have the Holy ghost, you're none of his. Like I said, this is talking about those that do have the Holy ghost, but you're not letting the Holy ghost lead you and guide you. The Bible said, uh, that are led by the spirit of God. They are the sons of God. All right. It says, they that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. I got other scriptures, but I'm saving that I, I, because I want people to come at me. You know, I want people to come at me and say, oh, you wrong, you wrong. Well, you're going to have to prove me wrong. But I, I'm going to leave it at that. Everybody out here that's doing this teaching that if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you're none of his. That's, that's false teaching. Right, and majority of you out there, I, I listen to a lot of you. A lot of you out there is teaching this false teaching that it said they go Romans eight and nine. If any man have not the spirit of Christ, and none of his, so that's false teaching. I used to believe that lie. You know, I used to believe. I used to tell that to people. Oh, if you don't have the spirit of Christ, you're none of his. I used to believe that. But if you go looking at Romans, uh, just read the whole thing on Romans. Start at Romans 8 and read all the way down. And you'll see it's talking about those. Paul, uh, Paul is talking about those that already have the spirit of Christ. Because it being that the spirit of Christ dwelleth in you. And if any man had not the spirit of Christ, he none of his. He's not talking about if any man don't have the Holy Ghost. He's talking about those that don't let the Holy Ghost lead you and guide you. You're none of his. Plain and simple. All right. So that's what it is. I want to leave it at that. Now, if you don't believe that I'm right, then come prove me wrong. That's all. Come prove me wrong. But I guarantee you, I got some ammo left to stop you. I'm not going to give you all. I ain't going to show you all my ammo. I'm just going to throw that out there and say this is not talking about what you think it is. It may sound like that, but it's really not talking about that. The Bible says, call it those things that be not as though it was. So uh, it's other scriptures to back me up to prove that this is not talking about those that don't have the Holy Ghost is none of his, plain and simple. All right, but look, y'all come get me. I threw it out there. Cause like I said, 99.9% .9 of y'all so-called believers believe that 
same way that Jay Bradley, ain't no so-called preachers out there. They believe the same thing, but their belief is wrong. You're wrong. That's not talking about uh, if any man don't have the Holy Ghost, you're none of his. The Spirit of Christ is the Holy Ghost. All right? So come get me. That's all I'm saying is don't talk about it. Just come get me. Uh, the uh, late uh, Bishop E.W. Took said, don't get mad. Get Bible. That's all. Get Bible. Come prove me wrong. Bible said prove all things. All right? Prove all things. If you say I'm wrong, come prove me wrong. Bring Bible, not your mouth. All right, and I'm gonna bring Bible chapter and verse to prove that it's not talking about those that don't have uh, the Holy Ghost. It's none of His. That's that's not what it's saying. Like again, I'm saying it's talking about those that are not led by the Holy Ghost. You're none of His. All right, I'll leave it at that. All right, peace. <laughs>